Welcome back to Game Does Play Games, where we play games and talk game design, and we are back with more Flat Kingdom Papers Cut Edition. I don't think there are any other editions, though, so... <laughs> Last we left off, I died because I was an idiot. In the but tutorial! Now, but now we've returned. I was all like, Nathan, we never get to see you play platformers on the show. Do you want to play this and one? And then I was like, I'm just going to jump ahead. I'm just going to jump. And then I got killed by something off screen. <laughs> uh, or rather, it was on screen just as it hit me. Um, that's my own fault for jumping ahead, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway. So, this is the final part of the tutorial. Um, we actually wanted to stop here in before we went too far because it was fairly past the point where we left off. Yeah, yeah. And this this spot is particularly well designed because it caters to the abilities that you have in that form. It was exactly what I was saying, like, man, it would be better if like you accidentally fell on or had to jump on something a square form because you're heavy and that's what you do. You fall really well. <laughs> and this one, you jump really well. And so they put the enemy uh, at the top. Oh, good. I don't even think I can reach him. They put him at the top where you would have to be in the correct form in order to hurt him. You know, thinking about it that way too, it's actually interesting because your oh. your circle form is, is upward mo movement, square is downward, and triangle is left and right. I screwed up. Oh, but I still got it. You screwed up? Oh, I thought that it was like one of those things where you had to be the form that want when you Oh, it. no, it's it's just health. Oh, it's, okay. it's trying to tell you that you can get it in any form. Um, oh. I almost think it would read better, though, if it adapted to the form you're currently in. Does maybe you get, like, two hearts if you are the form when you grab it? No, I don't think so. I think it's always full health, actually. Oh, okay. Then why did Dead. they give me one back-to-back -back like that? Hey, wake up. If you lose all your life, you'll return straight to me. Oh, save point. Thanks. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Checkpoint, yay. Bang! Ah. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Oh, ah. man, you have to really put your skills to the test. You did it. Uh. So this is a good example, too, of how the level design is going to kind of be in, in the later levels, mm -hmm. where it's like, really, it just turns into how can we mix things up in a way that makes this challenging and you know the player has to switch forms multiple times in order to to get through it mm. um obviously it, it still gets more complicated than that but um that's the basic principle of i'd say 90 percent of the level design of this game the rest really comes down to exploration and, and finding secrets really mm -hmm. so there is replayability to the levels because um, I, there are some abilities in the game where I don't know if we're going to see it in this playthrough unless we play for more than these first three episodes. Um, but there are areas that you can only get uh, like other special things if you have abilities already. Oh, that's a pull in like that Metroidvania field. Though. Exactly. That was kind of a mini boss there. It was, yeah. That's kind of cool. Tutorial actually. boss. Yeah. Key, you got a key. This will have a door so you can come in handy. Yeah. Oh, like I'm carrying it on me. I've got the keyblade. <laughs> all right, all right, oh, all right. And then right. it brings you back here. Oh, cool. Uh, By the stinky uh, guy. Hey, buddy. Wow, what happened if I'd fall there? Oh, I guess I could double jump back up. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I almost escaped because. Uh, look, you got it. Thanks, buddy. All right, you got a heart. Now you can have even more energy. Yay! We won't die as often. Shut up. Would you like to nail the shape guide for the rest of the game? Remember that you can change whatever. Mm -hmm. So I I just leave it on because it's a nice reminder and it really doesn't take up much screen space. I was gonna space. say it's not really getting in the way, and so I'm actually a little surprised that they they asked you. I I feel like that should just be on by default, and then you can go to the menu to take it off mm -hmm. if you want to. Yeah, if it really bothers you that much, I feel most players are probably gonna look in the options for some sort of means of doing it. Okay, so I guess not all levels have. 100 coins, but they'll vary from like 80 to whatever. All right. I love those little feet. <laughs> so now this is the first real level, the flat forest. So, okay. So like if I had died in the level and then had to come back here, I mm -hmm. could be like, man, I really need a health upgrade and I could buy it from him. Yep. I don't know if you keep the coins, uh, if you don't complete the level, you might keep all the coins that you got up to a check. They were showing phantom coins, which means usually oh. you've collected them, it was just showing you where they were at one that, point. Yes, actually, no, that's exactly it. Oh. 
Yeah, that's that's actually kind of nice um, because there are some points where it's like, oh, you miss one coin out of like a chain of you know ten. Oh, you're like that one coin talking to you, Yoshi's Island. Right, and you can't go back and get it because you you know fell down a, a huge. So those are triangle guys. Right. Ah. Boom. Squish. Squishy. So far, I am gonna say that I do feel like that slow form on the uh, squares doesn't seem like the Oh no. What are you? Square maybe? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I feel that like was so mean. I feel like that's the quintessential like monster death sound. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I taught you this uh, one already, Nathan. Yeah, yeah. I like how you push it with your back. It only makes sense. Yeah, tell that to most other games. <laughs> So I think I figured out what it is about the 3D art in this game that I feel feels kind of unpolished, um, and it's that it's so so perfectly angled and, and like square. Um, and maybe it's because I've been spoiled with games like Yoshi's Woolly World, where when they go for a texture quality, um, they kind of like they show it out of they make angle. it feel like it's built out of. In Wooly World, it makes it feel like it's built out of wool. So you'll have, like, wool overlapping, like, um, you know, other more blockier parts. So that you get little, like, tufts that stick out. And um, There's there's other yeah. paper craft games or, like, paper themed games that do similar things, too. Paper Mario. Paper, or Paper Mario. You know, I never actually played Paper Mario. Oh. I only played a little bit of it. I wish I had played more of it, but there's a few of them. So. I, I I tried really hard to get my hands on um, a copy of it when I was very broke, and I got a ROM, but it was in Japanese, so ah, ah. I couldn't actually play it and know what I was doing. Yep. I'm sorry. I was... Okay. So Distracted? Th yeah, the birds... Like, I could see them in a tree, and at first it was like, oh, it's a bug. They're stuck in the tree. And then they s attacked me. It's like, ah... And then change the square form, and then they killed themselves on my face. A little grim. A little bit. All right. Twink. Ow. I like their sounds. Their little choppy sounds. <laughs> oh, he's back. Dick. Right. Ooh, there's a thing over there. Got the thing. The Green Legion. When I was a child, I used to walk these woods all the time. Numerous plants and flowers welcomed the visitors and blessed them with their beauty. Nowadays, the people fear the forest. They've become dark and the trees are filled with malice. What could have happened? Is the forest angry at us? Ooh. <laughs> so I don't sure. know if that actually is ever answered. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, who left those notes there, you know? Why can't I push the square? So some squares are pushable, some aren't, but they don't really. Nathan, it's a box. You can't push boxes. But that was never covered in the tutorial. But you can push boxes. You can only push crates, Whoa. Nathan. I want to get back up there. Can't. That's but, it. But, That's what I was talking about. You missed them. Now you got to die to get the rest. Well, let's just start. But, but two away from a hundred. No, oh, eighty. Oh, you mean currently I'm two away from 100? Yeah. I gotcha. That's, I this is, tried. There you go. There's water. Oh, God. His mouth is just, like, flattened open. Uh, I don't remember. What is he? What is he? Circle? It's a uh, triangle. Ah! Good job. <laughs> I mean, you evaded him, at least. Ah. Oh, this... So, I mean, you killed him, so I can't really show it. Um, but this, this is a very specific level design, um, I guess, flaw that I, I want to point out. Um, go back in the water for a second. So, we have that, that round fish swimming around, right? Mm -hmm. And the only way we can actually be on the bottom of, of the water is if we're in square form. So, obviously, we're going to get injured. So, that divot there, that feels like it should be a safe place. It should be a place where you can evade that fish and then turn into a triangle. Come when... up at him. Exactly. That's not the case. It's actually too short to keep you totally safe. And this this is super minor, right? Like, I'm not saying that this is making this game bad. Um, but from a level design perspective, 
I, I feel as though like it's these minor details that make a level design feel unpolished. Ah, I understand. It, it feels like it was placed there, and then the designer was like, ah, it's not deep enough, but whatever, I don't care. Let's move on. We'll just I mean, move that's on the possible. It, it, I mean, it still worked out, but it didn't do exactly yeah, what you said. It, exactly. It I just, love this, by the it way. It feels I'm arbitrary to have go. it there. Is this going to fall on him and crush him? No, it won't get away. I'm sad now. Huh. Oh, and there's a thing down there I'm going to miss now, wasn't there? Yep. I don't know. I actually have no idea. There, it looks nervous. like there could be a thing down oh, there. Oh, woe is me. I lost my flute. I hear there's a really good one under a big ocean. I wonder if there's a big ocean down there. There probably was. <laughs> uh, oh, bees. bees. Oh. oh. Oh, you killed it, I guess. Huh. That, was, that was pretty lucky, actually, because if you... Well, maybe that's... You were saying? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get those things that I missed before. Yeah. Oh, even those ones. Okay, I can go and get this. Oh, no! Ah, <laughs> uh, you're terrible. It reminds me of sound effects from Banjo-Kazooie, actually. That deer dying. Oh. Maybe they did it on purpose. I, I wow. would be surprised. I feel like their general level design, oh, like, not, not the actual level flow, but, like, the level's elements, so, like, collecting coins, finding little things, mm -hmm. um, even like, you know, getting enough things to get new hearts. I feel like some of that could definitely be inspired from games like Banjo-Kazooie. Probably other games too, I feel like there's a lot of inspiration from other actual 2D games. I mean, I would certainly hope so you, too. You already did it. I know, I want to hit Oh, you wanted to raise. Because it's, it, I didn't hit it this time, it's still... You gotta restart the whole level, man. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna die by these beasts. Ah, you again! Come here. Die on my face. Ah, jerk. That is pretty jerkish. All right, so this guy is... I am struggling so hard with. Sometimes it is a little hard to tell. Ow. Oh, I died by a bee that I didn't even see. Well, the bees are trying this, man. Whatever. I mean, no, it's so fun. <laughs> now I just want to beat the level. Now I'm determined. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, it is the end of the episode. We could keep going until you beat the level. Yeah, yeah that's good. Way. I'm going to beat it on my own time now and make these guys play it on their own so they can that's see it. That's fair. No, it's actually... I mean, I ha actually had a lot of fun with the game. I see... Actually, you were ta we were talking about it before. Like, there's a few flaws here and there, but it's actually a really fun game and it makes you it's, want to play it. It's it's very compelling and it's very charming. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we were talking about this off camera too where I was like, you know, it's not a bad game at all. It's not a great game because it has a lot of really tiny flaws, but it's still a really good game, and I think that's really undervalued sometimes. I, one thing I will give credit to, definitely, is that they've at least done a good job at varying up the challenges. Now, not necessarily for, for always a well... system mechanic. I, precisely, I totally right? agree. It was like in that whole thing, there was a force, and all of a sudden they're like, well, let's what ha see what happens if all of a sudden you go under, into the water. You would actually really like the second level, where I, I think we're underground or in some kind of cave system. There's a lot of, like, vertical movement, or horizontal movement. Like, you're basically w wanting to be the triangle most of the time, mm -hmm. just to dash places. Um, but there's a lot of, like, interesting obstacles that you have to, like, navigate around. It, I think level two does really good job at, at showing off yes. how much they can vary the uh, the challenges. Um, in addition, something that... Can I hurt the pause menu from here? No. Um, in addition, something that I noticed from the, uh, from the start menu was that we have these three forms, and it seems like that would be all there is to the game, except for you can look over here and it says skills. And so you can switch or, or switch or have these other options within these forms. So that instead of the, just the three mechanics, there's actually nine. And then the basic mm -hmm. mechanics of what you're able to hurt or not. So I, I found that pretty cool as well. Also, I had to rub it in and tell you how many times you died. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Well, that's about it then. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys, this is, this is fun. I like this game. Yeah. Let's check it out. I mean, we have a link in the description too, so... Uh, uh, question of the day? Should we make this one general? Yeah. What do you think about Flat Kingdom? Yeah, what do you think about Flat Kingdom? Do you agree or disagree with our opinions on uh, our our opinions on the level design of it? Cool. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to vote on what you want us to play next. And uh, we'll see you in the next series. Adios.